EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. He's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Arce's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Okay, guys, we went over the rule of the aggression. Let's touch gloves. Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Whoa. How do you define consistency when you describe the fact that among this matchup, you're looking for guys to be more consistent? Which guy's going to be more consistent? How do you define it? Just in one area, when they get inside, for example, Joe. Every once in a while, somebody takes a little bit of a break. Yeah, there's working, but all of a sudden, one guy's arm goes behind the other guy. I'm looking to see who keeps both hands free. Lands the counter. And just as we anticipated, toe-to-toe -to -toe right from the start. No introductions necessary. Good block. Use your feet. <laughs> Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What happened to the get to know you? They're getting to know each other real quick here. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm at a fancy restaurant, and we've already had four courses, and the chef came out and said, hey, don't be full yet. You got eight more to go. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Well, Joe, I'll tell you where they're not coming from. They're not coming from football anymore. In the old days, the big guys, instead of going on the football field, somebody would look to make them into the next heavyweight champ. But now they're going to college, they're going to places where they find it a little bit of an easier travel. And we're losing a lot of those athletes. Good job protecting himself. How about a return to sender with the left hand? 
Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks that punch. A little defense turns to offense by Fernando Montiel. Last 10 seconds. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Carry it away, you catch it. You got that? It's going to happen. You're going to catch it. You're going to catch it. Where's your body work? The so here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Blocks that punch. Fernando Montiel swelling means that this fight could go south for him. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Not able to land the headshot. seconds to go here in this round very nice job landing that counter punch getting away from one that was coming at him Jorge Arce's swelling is starting to become a real issue movement to get away from those punches. Jorge Arce's vision is being compromised here. That swelling around the eye is worsening as the fight continues. Well, right now, he has to use every advantage he can. You're right. He's at a disadvantage. So now, he has to position himself in the ring, every inch of that ring, where he keeps his opponent in a place where he can't throw punches towards the bad eye, where he positions himself where the good eye is always in a place where it can be used. Blocks the headshot. What a good counter punch by Fernando Montiel. Fernando Montiel's cut man is going to need to be all over this side. The swelling seems to be getting worse. Well, it's kind of like being a gardener. You have to start getting in there before the weeds come up. You can't wait until the weeds are all over the place and then pull them up. You're going to destroy those beautiful rose bushes but well, it's the same thing here you got to get to this eye before the swelling's there you got to put that end swell that cold piece of metal onto that place early on don't fight this fight gap and move don't worry about it the swelling is nothing just just focus on the fight we'll take care of the swelling Get Number three is underway. 
keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Nice block by Fernando Montiel. Keep he got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Fernando Montiel. Able to dismiss it. to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Fernando Montiel. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Well placed counter punch by Fernando Montiel. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jorge Arce. Not able to land the headshot. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Good job staying away from the danger there. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Protecting his head well with his guard. Gets rid of that effort. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in. Better give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? You got that? You're only giving me one jab at a time. Here we go with the fourth round. Locks that punch. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. the headshot. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Need 
needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Fernando Montiel is really disappointing us with his lack of work to the body. Yeah, it is. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Well targeted counter punch by Fernando Montiel. Very clean offense from defense by Fernando Montiel. but he parries it away. Well-placed counter punch by Fernando Montiel. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy, when you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone and where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Pick his jab. When he throws jab, okay, listen. I want to see that straight right. Go the gap and then straight down the middle. You got that gap. Yeah. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. It's got the look of a fight that's going to go the distance. But I'll tell you this, Teddy. It'll have lots of action right to the final bell. Yeah, yeah, I have a funny feeling. This is like a throwback fight, and these are the mentalities of these two fighters. If you told them it was a 20-round fight, like the old days, a 30-round fight, they would somehow find a way to go the distance. Beat him to the punch. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Fernando Montiel. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Fernando Montiel. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Able to dismiss that body shot. A little defense turns to offense by Fernando Montiel. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's gonna win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind, that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. to the 
end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Able to get rid of that one. contested fight one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Fernando Montiel boy you gotta love being his opponent right you come into a fight like this tonight you're so worried about getting off your punches landing accurate punches well, here it is. Not going to move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope that you wrap them real good because you're banging the nugget all night long. Jorge Arce's cheek is ripped open right there. You can see the cut. Targeted counter punch by Fernando Montiel. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Halfway through round six. And a sharp counter punch by Fernando Montiel. Undoubtedly, the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. Well-placed counter by Fernando Montiel. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Move your head. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomachache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Jump on him in this round, all right? Let's get on that swelling. Get the compress on that. Six rounds in the books. Six to go. Solid counter punch by Fernando Montiel.
defense just covering up down low. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Fernando Montiel has got a cut, and it looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Able to dismiss that body shot. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Halfway through this round here. Use your feet. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, when special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. For himself, and it's a left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Jorge Arce. Wow, is he defensively sound? Good defensive skill with the block by Fernando Montiel. Final 10 seconds. Blocks that belt line well. End of the round here. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. It's turning out to be a very good fight because it's very competitive. It's one of those fights that's really hard to score. Yeah, it is hard to score. It's going to be up to the judges now. Hopefully, they've been watching the way they need to watch, and they're confident enough to make sure that, that it's not just a matter of who's throwing, but, you know, who's really landing. Okay, listen. When he misses you with a bunch of counter, counter, Get the compress on, get the compress on there. Let's work on the swelling. Can we work on the swelling? And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Fernando Montiel. Protecting his head well with his guard. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Very nice defensive guard there. hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Fernando Montiel. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Jorge Arce.
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Jorge Arce, he's got a real problem, and he knows it, because that eye is worsening, and if it seals all the way shut, if it's swollen that badly, we could see a stoppage in this fight. Yes, we can, and right now, what should be seen is the corner of his opponent should see that advantage, and a fighter needs to see that advantage and be told that, and move to the right place, move to the side, and throw those kind of punches that can take advantage of that eye being closed. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. This round comes to an end, a round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. here with another round but who knows how much longer it'll last this has been a completely one-sided fight surviving but if he survives then he better figure out why he was put on the floor showing you some defense there with the block a little give and take and here comes the left hand after a fine defensive effort by Fernando Montiel. Good job protecting himself. Defensively sound. Oh, 
some pep. That's it. Throw him off with head. You need to throw more punches. The body. Bang the body. Hit that body. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Get on that. Get on that. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Good block there by Fernando Montiel. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by Fernando Montiel. Fernando Montiel's opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets them go when he thinks he should. Throws a counter punch there. Jorge Arce's got a snap out of it. I mean, he went down earlier, but he just has the look of a fighter who has had everything taken out of him. Yeah, you know, his personality is betraying him a little bit now, so it's funny you bring that up because he's a careful guy anyway. But now after being hurt, boy, he's taking that to another level. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. That was not well targeted by Fernando Montiel. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whiff that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Wow! Fernando Montiel stunned, and he is hurt. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. And he needs to be before any more time goes by. here round that saw a lot of action the kind of round that fans pay to be here to see well these are tv friendly fighters and we figured that coming in is underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided he was hit pretty hard and now he has to overcome that here yeah you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that I mean everybody saw you know he got staggered his knees buckled did a little dance there but what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately
well off the mark by Fernando Montiel. Fernando Montiel's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Oh, Jorge Arce stunned, and he is hurt. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. And a clinch he needed like flowers need rain. Nice block by Fernando Maciel. Blocks away that headshot. Able to dismiss that body shot. Able to get him up against the ropes. Able to cover up that gut. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Good block by Fernando Montiel. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bring it in every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. He got caught, but now the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Locks that belt line well. by Fernando Montiel. Good way to protect the midsection. Good block by Fernando Montiel. Good job staying away from the danger there. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. to show you his blocking ability. 
The twists and turns and the non-stop battle, it continues on as we've reached the one minute mark to go. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Nice block by Fernando Montiel. of an entertaining fight. Now, for the judges' scores, let's send it up to the ring announcer. Fernando Montiel is your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout, but no, we wound up getting a strategic fight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division between these two great warriors. Vivian Harris is making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest glaring with those eyes and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. He's making his way down to the ring and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. All right, guys, remember this. Obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch Round it. number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheapskates. getting rid of his opponent's offense. A good block. We always see great athletes week in and week out, but Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball, everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones, he got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau, he got demolished. We saw Highsmith, he got demolished. A lot of football players haven't done well, but basketball players, they have the physical skill sets where they can make a pretty good fighter. Of course, you have to get a guy that mentally is adjusted. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Gets rid of that body shot. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, 
Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. you already get the sense that they have no intentions of this fight going the distance. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vivian Harris. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Very nice defensive guard there. Those elbows in blocks the body shot. efforts. Nice strike after catching one by Vivian Harris. Gets rid of that body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. take these shots. You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a spin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. End of the round here, a round that saw a lot of action. The kind of round that fans pay to be here to see. Well, these are TV-friendly fighters, and we figured that coming in.
for three is underway. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Blocks that punch. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Keep your hands up. Vivian Harris is dealing with a cut around his eye, and it's in a bad spot. His vision could be impaired. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice block. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Comes right back with a shot of his own. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. A good block. And there he counters back against his opponent. Good exchange, he fires back. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vivian Harris. Final 10 seconds. Vivian Harris has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Dump yourself. Still win this one. the fourth round blocks that punch <laughs> nice block nice strike after catching one by Vivian Harris Able to dismiss it. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counterpunch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay. And he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Good move. Up and down, side to side. Opponent. 
undoubtedly the most effective element of his entire arsenal tonight is his jab. He's so committed to fighting on the outside, and he's jabbing away beautifully. Well, Customato used to tell me, Teddy, when you're in doubt, jab. Well, this fighter, when he's been in doubt, he's jab. When he's been sure of himself, he's jab. As you said, he's made a jab fest of this all night long. Missed targeted. Blocks that punch. <laughs> Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. not landing any body punches in this fight. Well, he looks like a guy who hasn't been taught that. We're getting a little bit of an x-ray, a little bit of a... Oh, and there you go. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. All right, come on, come on, guys. Work it out, work it out, no holding. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Great movement to get away from those punches. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Body shot, body shot. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action, nonstop. Well, Joe, what special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. Halfway into round number five here. Good job fighting from the outside. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. intended for the head. Uh, 
Vivian Harris, his nose is now starting to bleed. Defense, more defense. Keep working the body. Ten seconds to go in this round. Protecting his head well with his guard. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Nothing. Don't worry about it. The swelling is nothing. Just, just focus on it. Right? Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Got hit, but he sends it right back. <laughs> Able to get rid of that one. <laughs> Vivian Harris, his trainer, is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Relax. Good return fire that time. Blocks that punch. Halfway through this round here. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Locks it away. Vivian Harris has got to find a way to protect that eye. The cut has worsened. And if it gets any worse, you got to think this fight is coming to an end immediately. Well, what's going to matter is when the doctor finally gets caught up and looks at it is, Joe, not how bad the cut looks or even how graphic it is to the fans out there, but where it's at. The doctor will look to see whether or not it's the kind of cut that if it gets worse, it could actually be physically damaging to his career. Six to go. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Blocks that punch. Jump 
protecting himself. Throws a counter punch there. Nice strike after catching one by Vivian Harris. Ortiz's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Good block. Blocks it away. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Blocks that punch. <laughs> Able to show you his blocking ability. The defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good job staying away from the danger there. movement to get away from those punches. Ten clicks of the talk. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. This is it. Keep on. Make your presence known. Assert yourself. Assert your punch. on the fight and we'll take care of the swelling. Stop. Round eight is underway. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Punch there. Get him, get him. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Defensive skill. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand.
able to get rid of that one. Blocks that punch. There it is! Vivian Harris is stunned and he is hurt. Blocks that punch. He throws a big, wide punch and is a he, he throws a big wide punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. Vivian Harris is showing some swelling now. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of the cut. It's nothing. A small cut, nothing to worry about. It. Let's, let's get on that swelling. Get on the swelling. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Vivian Harris is just not showing me enough offense right now. He's, I mean, I understand he did get hurt in there. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something for it. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Good counter punch. <laughs> Protect the midsection. You gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not gonna move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope that you wrap them real good because you're banging the nugget all night long. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Going to the body there. Vivian Harris, his inability to connect is really concerning me right now. I don't think he's been able to get a thing done since he got tagged earlier in this fight. The one thing that you got to worry about a little bit is whether or not the referee starts seeing that. That's one thing for you and me to see it. If the referee starts looking at him like, you know, he's not behaving right, he might start to move in there a little bit to stop this fight. He's got to get something going. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight 
that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll take care of it because it's nothing. A small cut, nothing to worry about. Swelling is nothing. Just focus on the fight. And now they start round number 10. <laughs> Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. <laughs> Frustrating his opponent with great defense. rid of that one. Throws a counter punch there. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Protecting his head well with his guard. That belt line well. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Vivian Harris. Showing you some defense there with the block. Locks it away. Good job staying away from the danger there. This round comes to an end, a round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll take care of the cut. There's nothing. A small cut is nothing to worry about. Okay, yes. Body in hand. Body in hand. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Oh, and look at this, Teddy, wasting no time getting to know each other. No, oh, they came right to the center ring, said hello. Blocks that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Vivian Harris. See, 
see the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Swing and a miss going upstairs. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. He wouldn't give it to him. Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Ted. Uh, it just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier, a little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges, what they prefer. Okay. Last round. You need to give it all you got this round. All right. Let's work on that. This has been a real good one tonight, and now it comes down to this, the final round. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. the counter good looking right hand after he got hit able to cover up that gut his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Was just off the mark. Blocks away that headshot. right back at him. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before.
able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. I had to got blocked. Close fight. Tough to score some of those rounds, but they did. And for that, let's send it up to the ring. He's your winner by unanimous decision. All three judges giving it to him. I didn't agree with the judges completely, but they got the right guy with it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time. Wasn't touched on heavy beef in the street. ET had to flee. Great heavens, good grief. Hungry bellies break.